right, today we are interviewing a man by the name of uh, Josh Tubestake. He is a videographer and he has uh, run a lot of productions over his life. And so we're going to talk to him a little bit today about sound because, you know, when you're doing a podcast like on, uh, on the used tubes, you have to be able to have a really good sound to your, um, yeah, I'm trying to think of the word, um, uh, video yeah that's it let's bring him on here josh you here hello 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 hey man thank you for making it today uh oh i see you have a mic there what, what kind of mic are you using today first up i'm recording with a sennheiser me66 condenser mic it's plugged into the xlr input one on the h4n the output of this sennheiser microphone is relatively high so I can keep the input level slider on the uh, on the Zoom H4n uh, relatively low. I think I've set it to a level of 35 out of 100. Okay. Okay. Thank. You. Well, that's a good. That is very good to know. Thank you. Um, so what I wanted to bring you on today to talk a little bit about some of the productions that you've done. I understand you've you've done quite a few productions in your life. I've changed to a dynamic microphone now. This is a Bayer Dynamic M69NC that I picked up some time ago. Uh, I think it must be about 30 years old now. It's a hypercardioid dynamic microphone uh, recording okay. into the H4N. Well, I think that's good. Yeah. I mean, you sound very, you sound good. You sound clear. Uh, I'm using this right here. Oh, let me have it turned on. Sorry. The previous two microphones are professional grade. This is uh, certainly not in the same category. Um, I can't remember what the brand is. Uh, I think it's a rebrand of something. Um, in some ways, it looks similar, I think, to a Samsung CO1. Okay. All right. Well, you sound, like I said, you sound really good. And, uh, you know, you had uh, you'd mentioned earlier about using uh, something called a Zoom. Here's another inexpensive microphone. It's a Samsung CO2 condenser pencil mic. I think a pair cost about $100. I could have plugged both uh, microphones into the Zoom H4n. Uh, that way I could have recorded a stereo image, or it could be uh, for uh, a situation where I've got a guest with me and I wanted to record my voice and my guest voice on separate tracks. Hmm, a guest. That's an interesting idea, isn't it? A guest? Um I don't even, uh, I'm going to... My next setup is an Audio-Technica ATR3350 lavalier microphone. Here it is on my shirt. Josh. Uh, I've got it plugged into the 3.5mm external mic Josh. socket Josh. on the Josh. back Hello. of the H4N Josh. recorder. And because Josh. the output from this microphone is relatively low... Are you done? Are you done? I've now switched over to this Boyer BY-M1 lavalier microphone that can be picked up for around $15 on Amazon. But the output level on this is much higher than on the... Well, as far as microphones are concerned, I'm using the built-in XY microphone module. So in effect, I'm using the Zoom H4n as a stereo USB microphone. So this is what I was just... Okay, thank you. What I was trying to ask you about was the Zoom, because I have that thing, I have that same thing that Zoom H4... In. I've got a Cherub acoustic pickup. Rachel's going to play a simple scale on the violin for us. What, who, who, who is Rachel? Who is it? Rachel, over to you. Thank you very much indeed. Yes, thank you. Well, this has been a great interview today. Uh, Josh Tubestake and and uh, thank you for joining us. Um, we do hope you'll come back and do uh, do another interview with us again, please. God no. Great interview.